Hey there, this is Steve from Stark Web Design and Crushing Marketing. Today we're going to talk about Click Magic. Click Magic is a third party tool that we use to track our um, results in our Facebook ads. We can do this with YouTube ads, you can do this with Google ads. Click Magic can, can really be used in any of those platforms or for any tracking link. But we specifically use it to make sure that Facebook has the data it needs uh, in order to optimize our ads so that they perform better. So the issue has been over the last year or so uh, with uh, privacy uh, updates is that we are not getting the data in Facebook that we need in order to optimize ads because that data is blocked. Uh, so there are third party tools we can use like click magic, uh, that will actually track the, the data and then push it back into Facebook. So the ad is optimized. If we don't have that data in Facebook, then Facebook doesn't have the information it needs to make sure that our ads are getting to the right people and that they perform better. Uh, now we've all seen a, 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 a decrease in performance and ads, but without this tracking, we really can't understand how well our ads are doing or how poorly they're doing. So we need to have a tool like this that's going to allow us to track uh, our um, our results when we have, especially in funnels. So um, it's pretty simple to set up. I think that the the bigger part is setting up the conversion ad. Uh, in Facebook, that's not something we're going to go through on this video. I'm just going to show you the Click Magic here. Um, but uh, as we look at Click Magic now, it's going to look a little different for you if you've never used it before, uh, because you're not going to have uh, data. It doesn't show data until you actually put it in an ad and data is pushed out to it. Until you have some results, you really aren't going to see a dashboard. But if we go to campaigns, we can see there's a campaign here running that we just started um, and it shows you know the number of visitors, the number of actions, that means how many people actually uh, clicked, entered their, they, they got from the landing page to the thank you page, meaning they actually uh, you know opted in to this lead magnet because this is actually um, this is actually a lead magnet campaign. So uh, the cost uh, per action is a little high. Um, you know, well, that's something we'll have to we'll have to work on, but that's why we look at this, okay? Uh, and if you go into Facebook, you'll see that the actions are pretty close uh, as far as tracking goes. Um, we can see uh, that this data has been pushed back. Uh, it actually shows 35 results, all right? So it's pretty close, um, but without that, it doesn't show any results without click magic. So we're just going to go through quickly how to set this up. All right. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to add the website code to our pages. All right. So there's a couple different codes that we have to look at as we go through here. All right. So this is the code that you're going to add to your landing pages. Okay. And again, in order to have the tracking work, you have to be able to add these scripts to your landing page. And you would add that uh, in, in depending on what you know what your builder is for your web pages. It might be uh, I use Kartra. It could be a WordPress page. It could be um, you know Kajabi or um, it could be ClickFunnels. Uh, there's there's always going to be a place where you can add code tracking code into your web pages. And so this is, you're gonna to wanna to add this into your area where you're adding your tracking code, okay? All right, and then, so that goes on the landing page. And then if you're recording email opt-ins, um, you'd add this code to the thank you page. All right, so if, if you're doing an email opt-in, this would go into the a landing page, or the uh, thank you page. And then um, if you have a checkout page, uh, so if you, let's say you have a landing page, you have a thank you page, and then maybe there's an upsell uh, that takes them to a checkout page, this is where that would go, okay? So you have multiple pieces of code. Then if you track your, want to track your sales, you can also do that by adding this code into um, the page 
where they're going to get a sale confirmation. So if somebody goes to your checkout page, they actually purchase, they're going to go, then go to a confirmation page or a thank you page for that sale. That's where this code would go. All right. So you've got multiple pieces of code that you would add throughout your funnel and, and you can track uh, a, a lot of detail there on, um, you know, on the things that are, you know, are going to matter most in your funnel, right? So you're, you want to track your opt-in, you want to track uh, your um, checkout, how many times people hit the checkout, and then you can track how many how many sales you actually have, all right? And then you can put the amount of money in here for a sale, and that will add that data in when you end up looking at your dashboard, okay? So, um, so that's, that's the code, all right? So you're going to add the code. The second part of this is to generate your URL, okay? So you have to create the URL that you're going to put into Facebook. So this is the original, you know, this is the first URL, uh, you know, that, that people are going to land on in your funnel, all right, so this would be your landing page URL, okay? But you have to build it out with some code. And the, the URL builder will do this all for you, okay? So the first thing you would do would be to enter your landing page, okay? So uh, for me, we'll just add, um, whoops, we'll add a landing page. I know this is a landing page, crushingmemberships.com. All right, so that's my main landing page. All right, so I would put the this is this is the page where you're going to send your traffic, okay? And then once you're down here, you would add your your source code, okay? So the source for the Facebook ads would just be Facebook, okay? So we can just add Facebook in. All right, the medium I always put in CPC, that's cost per click. All right. And then a campaign. You can name your campaign, all right? So for this one, I might call it you know, crushing marketing test, okay? And then my term, I, I you don't have to have a, a keyword term here, um, that's optional, and then content, also optional. So uh, these are the three that, that I always make sure that I add in. And then if I wanna do cost updates, all right, I just add this, it's a Facebook ad. What this will do is it will show me how much ad spend I'm spending inside of Facebook, which is good, especially if you're going to track sales, so then you can actually see what your ROI is inside of ClickMagic, okay? And then here is your link down here. So you would just copy and paste this into your Facebook ad, all right, where the URL goes inside of your ad. And that's it, that's, that's really all it takes to set this up. Um, and then you would go back to your campaigns, and when you're in your campaigns, you're gonna see uh, what your ad spend is, you're gonna see how much it, the cost per click is. So I've had 53 visitors, 30 of those 53 have taken an action. That's 56%, that's okay. Uh, I'd like to see it above probably 65%, uh, but um, it's only been running for a few days, so um, that, uh, that probably will improve. Um, I have not added the R, the you know the ROI yet. Um, obviously, it's showing as you know no ROI. It's negative 100. Um, percent But that's because we haven't added code into the back end of uh, our funnel in this lead magnet. Um, so once you know we do that, then we'll actually start to have some some revenue and some ROI showing. Uh, for our sales. So that's kind of, that's really just uh, the gist of how Click Magic works. Uh, there is a lot in here to learn, uh, nuances that you can, um, you know, that, that you can learn and they've got some good tutorials in their knowledge base. They go walk you through the getting started. So it's very simple. So if you're, if it's just something, if it's something you're interested in, uh, which if you're doing Facebook ads, I highly recommend it. Um, you can click the link below this is the software that we use for our uh, uh, Facebook ads and that we use for our clients uh, who we're running Facebook ads for. So this is definitely a, a great piece of software. They're innovating, they're adding things all the time, and uh, I think it's going to be really helpful if you um, if you are running Facebook ads to to look into Click Magic uh, as your third party tool for tracking. 
All right. So hope you found some value with today's video. If you did, please like, comment, and share. Uh, again, you can visit us at starkwebdesign.com uh, or crushingmemberships.com if you're interested in learning how to monetize your content. Uh, until next time, we'll see you. Bye-bye.